Charlotte DeVita is one determined lady. In 1992, she set up the charity Trade Plus Aid. And not only did she raise millions of pounds within a couple of years, but she also helped people around the world become self-supporting. A wonder woman indeed. For 14 years now, Charlotte's charity Trade Plus Aid has been active in the developing world. It provides food, medicine, housing and education, but also encourages highly skilled poor communities to become self-sufficient by finding new outlets for their craft work. Not only then do these communities gain a regular income, but they also maintain their self-respect and independence. Ever since Charlotte was a child, she wanted to make a difference. While the rest of her classmates at school were into dolls and sweets, she had more important things on her mind. One day I was looking at TV and there was a Blue Peter programme for the starving children of India. And it totally struck me because my mum had always said to me, eat up, eat up, thinking of the starving children of India. And I'd never seen something like that before. Charlotte was so affected by the images portrayed on television that she decided to raise money for charity by selling homemade jewellery to her school friends with great success. But this first taste of fundraising wasn't a passing whim. After university I was really naive. I went to Brazil thinking I could just do a massive conference and bring all the best specialists of the world together. I was 24 years old, I was blonde and I didn't really know Sweet F.A. about the rainforest. So what the hell I was doing there I don't know. I was so determined and I wrote to Prince Charles and amazingly he wrote back and said I'll come, I'll be patron of the conference and that was the first time I realised that how approachable they are and the first time that I realised that they're genuinely committed to things that are perhaps before their time. Charlotte continued to travel the world and in 1992 visited Africa which proved to be a life-changing experience. She travelled to Ghana an area suffering from horrendous drought. Unfortunately, she became ill with dysentery and every day would line up with the local people to receive treatment. You wait and you wait and you wait for your turn. And children were literally dying while they were waiting. It was horrific, you know, you'd hear children crying and then suddenly they wouldn't cry anymore. That was the first time that I, you know, I saw children actually dying there and just thought, I've got to do something. They were very proud people and they didn't want to just take money. You know, I didn't have very much of it, but they didn't want to take it, they wanted to give something in exchange. So we made 800 pendants and I gave them 800 pounds and that money went to buy seeds. And I came back to Britain to sell wooden pendants and we were just really lucky. Charlotte set up a stall in Portobello Market and the pendants immediately sold out. She returned all the profits back to the people in Ghana and requested more jewellery. And this is how Trade Plus Aid began. It allows both sides of the party to have dignity and it's sustainable and it's manageable. They don't want your charity, they want your trade, they want your opportunity. In Africa and Asia you can do so much with so little. You know, with the amount of money we've raised, we've built schools, put together agricultural improvement for 25,000 people, we pay for about 800 children's education a year. I mean, it's massive. To keep the charity in the news, Charlotte decided that celebrity power is the only way forward. Through her new project, 21st Century Leaders, she persuaded celebrities to create designs for a range of products, the profits of which would return to the star's chosen charity. And Hollywood actress Minnie Driver is one of Charlotte's biggest fans. Charlotte doesn't stop, like she's like an engine. Um, it's touched so many people and it's so consistent and that's what's extraordinary because most of us give up, you know, we'll kind of be like, oh. You know, I tried and it was really hard to do that and I didn't get anywhere or I hit a brick wall. Charlotte's the kind of person that finds her way over the brick wall or under it or through it. There's no such thing as a no. Minnie's been, you know, the person that I can call and say, um, you know, can you help with this? And she always does it very kindly. Do you know? Because <laughs> the conversation's great. Hi, Min, it's Charlotte. Do you know John Travolta? <laughs> and I'll yep. be like, no, but... No man who does. I know someone who does. How on earth do you approach these celebrities? Um, with a great deal of persistence. I sent out 22,000 requests to get sort of 250 people on board. But then it builds. And you just write, you know, just like I did with Prince Charles. And you, you, just, you just write, just ask. And who are the big names from Hollywood? Um, Nicole Kidman, George Clooney. <gasps> He's a friend of mine. Uh -oh. <laughs> really good friends. <laughs> I'm impressed. How's he, how's he getting on? He's a perfect example. I mean, when I started, we sent out all these letters and he wrote back. And when we got it, we were like, 
oh my god you know it came in the post it was like George Clooney replied this is you know this is bonkers you know this is incredible he actually dedicates four hours every single week to just writing to people who write in and say you know my mum's really unwell in hospital and it would make a massive difference if if you know you could sign a photograph and he does it he doesn't need to do it well Minnie what is your cause what are you supporting there's been civil war raging in Uganda for the last 20 years. Children have been through atrocities there. They were basically stolen and forced to kill their families so they'd have nothing to go back to. Now that there is an armistice going on, these children are sort of at large with, it seems to me, no where to go. So what we're trying to do is organize centers, places for psychological treatment, for um, physical treatment, a place where they can somehow recover. Many charities throughout the world will receive vital aid through Charlotte's latest fundraising idea. All these celebrity designs will be available to the general public and the profits given to the celebrities chosen developing world charity. But there are greater plans for the limited editions. We've been invited by the Royal Family of Qatar to go to Doha in November and to be part of a very significant auction out there. So we're praying that it raise, you know, they each raise quite a lot of money. So from Roger Moore to Pierce Brosnan, this is amazing. It is amazing. Just what's going awesome. on in Pierce Brosnan's Absolutely head? Absolutely awesome. I mean, it's incredible. Eva and Paul McCartney, oh my yes. goodness. Yes, I mean that's, that's really sad. They both are very committed to Adopt a Minefield. And it. it's um, the symbol of the Adopt a Minefield campaign is the, is the daffodil. Sarah Ferguson. Sarah Ferguson. I thought it's that historical. was really good. It's hysterical because <laughs> it shows that she's got a fantastic sense of humour. <laughs> and you know, look at those shoes. And she wrote a you know, really charming letter that went with it, sort of saying oh. thank you for asking me to do this. And on the back are the pictures of her symbol of hope was um, images that she took on holiday with her daughters um, looking out into the horizon and sort of you know about the future. Oh they're beautiful. They're very sweet. It's a funny thing I've said this before about celebrity it'll get you a great table in a restaurant and your picture in the newspaper if that's what you're in the market for but it becomes a really powerful tool um, if you choose it to be. All these people they're all A-list celebrities now could a Z-list celebrity do anything, maybe, like me? <laughs> I'd love you Could to I do that. Could I make one. a plate? Yeah, it'd be absolutely wonderful. Seriously? No, no more how do I get, how Would do you, you do seriously it do it? Well, yeah. you take this, um, you take this template, which, yes, oh, sorry, sorry I'm bumping into you. So sorry. <laughs> um, on the left-hand side, you draw yourself as a stick person. I can do that. On the right-hand side, you draw a symbol of hope for the 21st century. Oh, and then on the back, you put your message of hope and you sign and you date it. And that's the template that we use. We scan it in and then we start to create product. Charlotte, I'm off to do my design. See you later. Thank you. Well, that is my masterpiece. That's my little bit for charity. OK, it's not as good as Minnie's, but I think you'll agree. It's pretty good. So what exactly keeps you going? I do it because I believe in it and I really, you know, it gives me great... It's, 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 a, it's what I do. It's what I love to do. But when you're in our field of work, you know, I've been in squatter camps and refugee camps, the women come up to you and say, please don't, you know, don't forget about me. And if you hear that enough, you have to do it. Wow, we've got some of them here, actually. There you go. She's That's, amazing, uh, isn't she? There's minis. It's extraordinary. Look at that. How detailed it's a that beautiful is! Beautiful piece of work. And there's, uh, there's the stick person on the back. With her surfboard. And where's George's? There you go. There's George's stick person. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It's fantastic. And this is Alison's. This is the prototype. So obviously it's it's not finished. But that's just Alison's stick person. Uh, there you go. So she's. They're lovely, aren't they? What a brilliant idea. I think they're sort of nine ninety nine each, aren't they? Mm. Um, so if anybody's interested, there are there are details coming up how you can get them. And um, it would make a very good eclectic uh, dinner surface for a newly married mm. or something, wouldn't it? All different ones. If you would like more details about these products, then you can uh, have a look at our website, itv.com slash thismorning, and we'll link you in the right direction.